Okay. It's a chain chomp. Wasn't really paying attention to it before. And a puppy! Hello, puppy! Hello there. Oh, my Bow Wow is so proud of his fine fur coat. Okay. How is that? How does it have a fur coat? It's a it's a chain chomp. It's like a a, a cannonball with teeth. And it's like a mini one. Makeup, jewels, dresses, I want it all. And some new accessories would be nice. Weird. Yahoo! I'm fine, and you? Okay. Hello. Uh, um, how to say... Please call. Outside. Hmm. Old man Uriah is a shy guy in person. But he has a telephone, and he wants us to call. Man, what would he do if he had a cell phone? Bring! Bring! Hello, it's me, Yorira. Ask me anything about the island. If you get lost, give me a call. Bye! Okay. Got a helpful old dude who likes to talk on the phone. I heard that you can press select to look at the island map, but I don't understand what they mean by that. The subtle fourth wall breaks. They're so nice. It's Yoshi. Hi, Yoshi. Trendy game! Play 10 rupees. One play, 10 rupees. Okay, I'll play. The A and B buttons move the brain. The rest is just timing. Go over to the buttons to play. Good luck. Alright, well, Yoshi's the only one sitting still, so this should be pretty easy. Uh, there. And there. That should do it. Yay! I get a Yoshi! Can I ride it? I want to ride the Yoshi. And I can eat all the enemies. Oh, it's a Yoshi doll. Recently, he seems to be showing up in many games. <laughs> I wonder what other games he showed up in. Because, obviously, Super Mario World was only recently released. Super Nintendo was still quite the giant when this game came out. Ooh, hello. A secret seashell. Collect a lot of these. Something good is bound to happen. I'm sure it is. Here's a store. Shield, hearts, shovel for 200. Wow. Now, those of you who've played this game probably know, and even some of you who haven't probably know, is that... If I really wanted to, if I could get this guy to have his back turned, like, say, right there, I could leave with the shovel and not have to pay anything. There's a couple of effects to that. One is, the next time I go back, he's going to be really ticked at me and will literally kill me. Like, blast of lightning kill me. When you're running out of hearts, you better enter a house or cave. Why? I have no idea. I'm just a kid. Oh, okay. Uh, the other thing that happens is that no matter what you inputted your name as, you will be called Thief by everyone and everything in this game. I don't feel like being called Thief for the rest of the game. I don't like that reputation, so I'm gonna leave it alone. Yep, those are my boys. I'm Pahal. Papa, Papal, Papal. I'm gonna go Papal. Pleased to meet you. I'll be lost in the hills later, so keep a lookout for me. Here. Okay. Oh, will you give that doll to my baby? My Yoshi doll. But it's so cute. Okay, fine. Oh, thank you. You are indeed a generous person. Ah, I will give you this in return. Ooh, I have a ribbon. Yeah, I can trade the ribbon for something else. Because they all look alike, even I am sometimes confused. They've had a lot of kids. It seems like they've almost complete, solely populated this village by themselves. One, two, three, four. Yep, it's like four 
four or five kids. Hi, Marin. Link, Marin's taking a nap at home. I don't know how you can sleep on such a nice day. It makes me want to sing a song. Yes, the song is Ballad of the Windfish. I really like that tune. I think it's a shame that they don't have it in more stuff. Uh, up here is a chicken and basically a fishing place. How about some fishing, little buddy? I'll only charge you 10 rupees. Sure, why not? All right, here's how to do it. All right. Little one. Little fish. Five rupee price for that. Okay. Can I just please skip this? No, I can't. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate the fact that I have to practic pretty much clear the entire place just to get the big ones. Fishing montage! Woo! Big one! And it has a piece of heart in it. Okay. I guess it's not really a montage so much as I fished really, really fast for you guys because that took <laughs> quite a while in real life to just get that stupid bobber over. But hey, I got a piece of heart out of it. Always useful. Now I said south of the village, and we've already been over there, so let's go back over here. The animation isn't as good, so it's not as funny, but I still love knocking those bad guys into holes. Well, here's a keyhole. It's easy. Alright. Level 1, Tail Cave. Let's go this way first. Ah! Key! You get ready. You compass. All right. Now I can see where the chest of nightmare are hidden. Ooh, a new feature. A tone will tell you if a key is hidden in a room when you enter. Well, that's useful. Okay. If you guys heard it, because I accidentally put my shield up at the right time, but... Press the button. Got a key. Um, bats. Ah! Got the map! That was easy. Let's take a look at this map. Kind of looks like a little sneaky thing. Tail cave. It has a tail. And the boss is in the tail. Okay. Left or right. I like this little thing. Whee! Okay, so keyhole there. And oops, small key. So if we went back here, bats, things to kill, you know. 
Nothing unusual there. A spot for a bomb. Ooh, piece of power. There's a bomb spot here, but don't have any bombs yet, so I can leave that one alone for a little while. Joy! 20 rupees. That's always nice. <laughs> Whoa. Let's go this way first. The nice thing about the piece of power, aside from the boosted attack and making everything explode, is I get to move twice as fast. Very nice. Alrighty. Oh, hello. Ah! Whoa! Get out of here. Because Goombas. I remember hearing somewhere there's a specific reason why Yoshi, Goombas, Chain Chomps, and there's also Piranha Plants later on, um, are actually in the game. Ooh, in the meantime, Rock's Feather! That is a lot lighter. I love the Rock's Feather. There we go. Because I get to jump. At will! No, no, the specific reason, I think the um, game makers were allowed to have fun with it. The nice thing is you jump on Goombas, you automatically get a heart no matter what. So it's a very useful health regeneration tactic. Whee! Now those things on the wall, just kind of flew right past them. This owl statue was trying to say something, but you can't understand it because it has no beak. In the original uh, Link's Awakening, it was just a stone tablet. Um, just a piece of writing on the wall, but there was a piece missing. But I guess in order to kind of make it work better as a uh, key block, as a mechanic, ooh, this is a key. This is a key with horns, the Nightmare's Key. Uh, anyway, I guess to make it more compatible with having multiple uh, tablets and uh, advice columns in one dungeon, they just made it more universal item for it, as opposed to how in the world does the same piece of writing <laughs> make three different messages. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, so spades, spades. And that's how you do that. And here's the stone beak. Turn aside the spined ones with the shell. So it has general advice on how to defeat particular enemies. That kind of stuff. You know, the usual advice column things. Oh, hello. Ah! Oh, that's right. I still have my piece of power. <laughs> that just lasted a lot quicker than it probably should have. And here's a nice other little gimmick. We now have a warp point. Which is so nice of them. Staircase. No hole in the ground. Here is our nightmare. Wow, that, that was actually a really good voice for me. Yes, the, the, the guy does not like... Okay, and this is one of another reason why having... Oh, gosh. I was going to say that having this jumping ability makes it less harder for them to knock me into the chasm below, like in Link to the Past, but... Wow, pieces of power are nice. It's a cello. We've got the full moon cello. 